Hi, I'm going to attempt to answer the five questions that Susie Lady had posted for Manolas and Manolas had answered and I will try to do the same. Number one, would you go to a pajama and night dress party? Would I go to a pajama and night dress party? Well, I'm never invited anywhere and I don't really have any friends. But yeah, that would be fun. I would feel self-conscious because I don't really have any cute pajamas or anything and I don't really want to go out and buy any. I wear what I'm wearing now, which is kind of like, um, like a tank top and then I've got like, I don't know what they're called, just, just plain old stuff, loungy stuff around the house. Yeah, I guess I'd go. It might be kind of fun. I'm always up for fun. Number two. Do you believe in bad luck by walking under ladders? Bad luck by walking under ladders. Well, when I was a kid, I was told these various superstitions, and it kind of sticks with you. But basically, I try not to walk under ladders because something might fall on you. And I've had something really heavy fall on my head once. Not from a ladder, but I was at a concert and a lighting fixture had fallen on me. That hurt a lot, and I really don't like things falling on me. From spiders to lighting fixtures. <laughs> I generally do not walk under ladders, but I don't feel that the world will end if I do. Number three. What would your dream video be? that no matter what video you did afterwards would never top it? Well, I don't know because my computery type equipment here is basic and it's crap. And um, I did have a halfway decent uh, laptop and it died last year. So if I have the money and time to uh, get used to a new system or to buy a new system or whatever I might start being creative if I can get it in this old brain of mine I would like to to do something cool an idea that I like and other people have done it with instruments but I think it would be really cool is all the different people that watch you send in well you know like you sing a song together or something I think that would be really awesome uh, piece of music, whether you play a piece of music or sing a piece of music, having a song put all together, I thought, I would think that'd be really cool, that'd be awesome. People all over the world, not just people in your country, but you know, how awesome is that? Number four, have there been any changes around your area over the years? If so, is it good or bad? Yes, there have been many changes, and I'm older than a lot of you guys out there, so I've seen probably a little more changing. People are sedimentary in their thoughts and behaviors, I think. We don't like change, kind of. When you get used to something, you like, like it to stay that way. This area where I live now, we moved from Iowa to here in 1971. Well, in Iowa, even the town I grew up in was kind of a medium to small town, and it has grown so much, and there's just crap everywhere. It's not for the better, really. And down in here, in St. Louis area, the area where I live now is where we moved in 1971, and then a year, few years later, I moved out of the house and lived here and there, and, and then came back here after the divorce. So, because my mom said, if you move back here, I can help you. I don't like it here. St. Louis is, I don't know, they're kind of backwards-minded, and it's small-town mentality for a big town. I mean, I'm not saying all of St. Louis is bad, but this area has changed a great deal. The There's an area near the airport that was just an awful, awful area. People were even afraid to drive through that area.
to get to where they were going. It closed down and the airport bought out a lot of the housing through there to, to expand the runways in that direction, which they ended up going a different direction. But all those people were displaced and all of those people were subsidized in this neighborhood. So in the last 10 years, this neighborhood has gotten quite ghetto. And that's not good. We've had meth labs being, uh, uh, what do they call it when the, co the cops go in? I don't know. And we've had drugs selling on the streets and broken bottles and just terrible. I really don't like it. And if St. Louis is striving to be number one in murder, murder capital, they're succeeding. I mean, who would have thought? Yeah, the area's changed. <laughs> yeah, not for the better. And number five. Do you feel that kids get away with far too much these days? Yeah, I do. I, I really do. Now, I don't, I don't believe in beating on your kids or anything like that. But children have no respect, none at all. From the wee little ones to the teenagers, like respect seems to have disappeared from the dictionary. It's a shame. I'm not saying you have to go, yes ma'am, yes sir. But don't sass your elders. If you don't like what they're saying or don't believe that, that what they're saying has any truth to it, just make a face in your in your head and then walk away you know I mean don't be so belligerent yeah I mean I agree with Manola it's like when we were kids we played out in the street or we played out in the yard or down this block or something and our parents used to have to stand on the porch and yell for us to come home because we played outside all the time kids are stuck inside doing uh, whether it's because safety reasons or they just choose to play video games all day and some of these video games are quite violent and they have these ideals like Grand Theft Auto my one son was playing that for a while and oh he'd yell and holler and and he'd throw himself back against the wall and he'd play and the whole house would shake and it's like it's just a game what are you doing I mean, I don't know. I don't really don't know what's wrong. You know, and, and, and as you get older, you're going to find things that the younger generation that you don't like about it, like maybe their music or maybe their attitudes or whatever. But things have changed and not for the better. It's a shame. It's really a shame. And there's just no respect. No one holds a door open for anyone anymore. It doesn't matter how old you are. And when I hold the door open for people, no one says thank you. You know, it's just... Society has turned into a bunch of me only. Me first, me only. And I don't like that. That's a shame. It's really, really, really a shame. Where we all could get along and the world could be a better place. It isn't. Snap to it, people. Get real. Life is short. Those are my answers. Upward and onward.